Uno Mobile. Is it good? Yeah. I have played this game a ridiculous amount. I played every single day last year and still play it daily today. The concept is simple. You play Uno. If you've ever played Uno, you'll feel right at home. The main part of the game is playing with strangers online. When you win a game, you win coins. And when you lose, you lose them. Pretty simple. However, there's also a coin fee for every game you enter. So even if you win, you're being taxed. But not that that matters because there's nothing really to buy in this game with said coins. You can buy the coins, which to me feels a bit dodgy and feels like gambling. And there's a reward system for the more you spend. For every penny you spend, it goes towards a VIP level of up to VIP 10, which gives you a special banner saying I'm VIP 10. I spent £1.50 in the game early on because it gave me VIP status level 1 and with VIP status level 1 you no longer get adverts after your game. I felt £1.50 was worth it to lose adverts after every game. Okay, so now conspiracy time. Put your tinfoil hats on. During my time on Uno I have been matched with so many profile pictures that are royalty free images of churches. So I think while this game doesn't say so, I think it may be full of bots online. Especially when you're in higher league lobbies, because you get into a lobby suspiciously quick. Literally it could take seconds. And if this is fake news, if they're not bots, if these are real people with the pictures of the churches, then this is some of the best matchmaking I've ever seen in a multiplayer game, ever. When you're down to your last card, you must declare Uno, otherwise people have a chance to challenge you and force you to pick up cards. However, in order to challenge, you must click on their profile picture. This doesn't feel very intuitive, especially because it opens up the gift options. If you're not careful, you may accidentally send an egg, or maybe even more awkwardly, you might send them a cute teddy bear or a rose. Before you know it, you've got a new friend request. You can make friends or add real friends if you have any. And this is where my favourite part of the game comes in. You can play 2v2, which is amazing. This is a game mode that would be near impossible to play in real life. You can see your teammates' cards. They always sit opposite you, separated by opponents. And this means you can sync up your play. And it is so satisfying to hit your opponents with draw two after draw two. And it's so fun to be strategic and pull off a good strategy. But if you're playing with strangers in 2v2, they can bring you down. Something that I do really dislike about this game however is if you're playing high stakes which i always play and you win if your opponent runs out of money you won't get the money that you're owed they will be declared bankrupt so every time that i lose i have to pay because i've got hundreds of thousands of coins but so often i'm winning games and i'm being robbed of tens of thousands of coins and it's really unfair and it leaves a sour taste in my mouth i usually just close the game i'm like well fair enough i'm not playing anymore I usually comment on the soundtrack in my reviews, but I turned it off after a few hours of playing because it was just far too repetitive. The graphics are nice, the cards look good, and if you're willing to spend some cash, you can get different decks and backgrounds to personalise your scenes. In my over 200 hours on Uno, I didn't experience any crashes, which is excellent. That was Uno Mobile, and I give it an 8 out of 10.